Hey, what's up, bookworms and constant readers? Welcome back to the channel. You saw the title. It's time for another Stephen King book. This one was a big one. Uh, Stephen King's Under the Dome. It was, I believe, 1,100, almost 1,200 pages. It took me uh, took me about a month to read it. Um, really good. Here is the first edition hardback. Like all books, I like to show you the different versions that I have. This is the paperback. And then I also have a Kindle version. Um, the ones I read were the Kindle and the uh, paperback. The uh, Kindle didn't have any mistakes in it, which uh, was refreshing because there's a lot of Stephen King books on Kindle that there are spelling errors, um, just all kinds of uh, all kinds of issues with uh, I wouldn't say a lot, but at least five or more of his books that I have on Kindle. There's some kind of issue with uh, either spelling mistakes or like there's words missing. Um, but the, the whole book is there, so there's that. Um, as always, on this channel, we'll start out with the cover review. Um, I actually wrote down the uh, people who did these covers. So the first edition hardcover is done by an artist named Ray Brown. I didn't look these artists up, um, but this is a very cool, it has a wraparound cover. Very cool, you can see the old uh, sticker from the bookstore I paid. $35 for this back in 2009 at a bookstore called Borders. They're not even in business anymore. But it continues on with the flap. The book itself is just a basic like navy blue book. Um, I really like this cover. Um, I like the font that they use. Um, I like how when you look at it, I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but where the dome is and where the sky is, this is like shiny and reflective. This is like a matte finish. And then the, the barn and the church, they play a huge role in this story. The um, paperback version, it was done by Tony Morrow, I think is how you say his name. And this, it's just the front cover spine, and then you've got synopsis on the back, a little bit about Stephen King. It has uh, a few reviews. Um, I didn't bring my reading glasses, so I can't read the synopsis on this review like I usually do. Inside, they have, and this is kind of rare for uh, Stephen King books, they have a map. And as a geographer, the map is, it's, it's fairly well done. There's some stuff that that is missing that uh, should be there like there's no uh, no credit to the cartographer there's no scale bar but overall it, it's decent and then you have like two three pages of a character list and that's one thing about this book there are a lot of people in this book. There's a lot of different characters, um, but it doesn't pose a problem when reading the book uh, because 
there's only a handful of characters that are really driving the main story. And with this book, you have a main story, a main plot that's going on, but then you have numerous uh, side plots that's going on. Um, the unique thing about this book, um, it's, it's kind of rare with Stephen King books that he just, from, you know, the first page to the last page just hits the gas and doesn't let up. Um, there are parts in most Stephen King books where it kind of lags and you think, you know, this this could have been cut. Um, I always use the example of The Stand. Uh, most people know the complete and uncut version, but growing up for the longest time, The Stand was only like an 800-page story. And I don't care for the complete and uncut version of that novel because there's a lot of stuff that wasn't in the original publication and a lot of that stuff I didn't feel was necessary. And so when I read like the stand, the complete and uncut version, there's a lot of stuff that I, I just think, man, this, this is not needed. Like this should have stayed, you know, out, out of the book. Um, and it takes an 800 page book and makes it like a 1200 page book. Some of the some of the editions are nice, but most of it I didn't think it was it was needed and I see why when it was originally published it was cut out. But this book it it doesn't do any of that. Like this book is so fun and entertaining to read and it has probably in my opinion the worst uh, bad guy that that Stephen King has ever created with uh, Big Jim Rennie. You will hate this guy. Um, it is it is unreal, like how unlikable this character is, and he seems to like get away with everything. And everything goes his way, and you just, you hate this guy. Um, but what is the book about? So the, the main story of the book is it takes place in this small town in Maine uh, called Chester's Mill. And one day, out of the blue, this barrier uh surrounds the town and they call it the dome um they don't know where it came from and from the very first page like this is action-packed all around chester's mill what is going on um you've got planes hitting this thing and crashing um you've got cars that are smashing into it uh the people that are in Chester's Mill, they can't get out. The people outside of Chester's Mill, they can't get in. Um, and they learn that this thing goes up like 30,000 feet. And uh, the military gets involved. The government gets involved. They're trying to figure out like what this thing is. Um, they start trying to tunnel under it. Um, they dig down like over a hundred feet and it still just keeps going. Uh, they fire missiles at it. Uh, they try everything to, to get through this dome and nothing works. Um, they do learn that air passes through it very slowly. Um, they also learn, uh, that, uh, sound travels through it. You can talk to somebody on the outside uh, through this through this dome. And um, but like fire, fire won't go through it. Um, they can spray like a fire hose at the at the dome and inside the dome you'll get like a misting of water. So water, can travel through but very very lightly and so these people are cut off from the world 
And the the main bad guy of the story is Big Jim Rennie. And he has lived in this town for like ever. Um, he wants to, to run this town. Um, he wants to take over. He wants everything to go his way. And when he like realizes what is going on, he sets the wheels in motion to do just that. People are going to do what he says or they're going to pay the price. And you have uh, another character named Dale uh, Barbara. Everybody calls him Barbie. He's uh, this ex-military guy. He's like a drifter. Um, he gets into a bar fight uh, with Big Jim's son. So now uh, Big Jim's son and Big Jim have it out for this, this guy. And you have all of these little subplots going on in the story. They're trying to, to frame uh, murders on Barbie. Um, they're uh, scheming to like shut the local newspaper down. Um, you've got uh, this situation with this church. Um, and this barn out behind the church, it's like this huge uh, drug lab. Um, all this stuff is going on that are little like side plots to the main story. And it is one of the most fun and entertaining uh, Stephen King books that you could read. Um, this is definitely a, a drama uh, like thriller type oriented book. Um, it's not really scary. Um, the scary things about it are how quickly like society falls apart. So it's kind of like real life scary. Um, it, it's only a matter of days that all of this like happens and the politics in this town and everything that like changes and people just go along with it. Um, they don't, they don't fight it. They don't question it. And that's like the really scary part is, you know, after three or four days, like it is really in this town, like a, a us versus them uh, type mentality. You're either with Big Jim Rennie or you're against him. And if you're against him, then watch out. Um, really cool book. Uh, the, the characters in the book are, are interesting characters. Um, most of them you like, but there's this core group that like Stephen King wants you to, to not like these people and the way he writes and the things that these people do, you don't like them. And you're constantly like waiting for them to get what's coming to them. And it always seems like they get away with everything. Um, highly recommend uh, these, uh, this book. Um, yeah, it's a long book, but it is fun to read. It is fast paced. Um, definitely check it out. Um, one thing I forgot to do was, uh, rate these covers um both of the covers i really like the the paperback i really love the artwork um my i would give this one like a four out of four out of five um this one the original first edition hardback i would definitely give this a five out of five it is a cool wrap around cover I just I love this cover and the book itself um, I, I always say this in every Stephen King video I try and be biased Stephen King is my favorite author of all time I, I love all of his books the only book I've ever read of his that I did not like was the Colorado Kid I thought it was horrible um, 
The only book that I didn't care for the ending was Cell. Um, those those two books are, are kind of like the the exception to the rule. Um, this one, this one is just it's fantastic. Um, it's got a lot of different elements, a lot of different characters. The characters are on the scope of like the stand, but the story is confined to this little bitty town. And what he does in this confined space, it it's amazing. I give Under the Dome five out of five. Um, you should definitely check it out. Uh, if you want to get into Stephen King, and see like the heart of what Stephen King is about. I think this book does that well because like I tell a lot of people, Stephen King does write monster stories and scary stories. Um, but when you get to the core of his writing, uh, the horrors that he writes about are us people and the things that we do to each other. And, that is totally like what this is about. What drives this story is just the insanity of some people and how they will do anything for power if the situation arises. That's all I have for you. Um, Under the Dome, check it out. Five out of five. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Um, I do have a question for the next uh, Off the Books. Um, leave a comment below if you have a question about me, um, about books. Um, pretty much ask me anything. That's what that new series is about. Um, the current book I'm reading is... Uh, Amakatsu's The Hunger. So that will be the next book on the channel. Um, that should be coming in like a week or so. Um, so I might have an off the books uh, in between this video. And that video just depends on how long it takes me to read that book because we're getting close to finals week and I've got a lot of crap to do. Um, if you like this video, like I said, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell so you know when new videos come out. And until next time, read more books.